Walker with Brooke Benner and Emma Lambert from the SBU women's track team. Everyone down here in Tacoma today at the J.D. Shotwell Invitational. Brooke made her debut in the 400 meter hurdles, one of the most <laughs> grueling races on the track. Emma would know a thing or two about that. And she also was second in the triple jump. Brooke, just talk about your day. Talk, talk about those hurdles. What was that like running that race for the first time? Um, it was interesting. I was definitely really, really nervous for it, but I did the 300 hurdles my senior year, so I feel like that kind of helped me wrap my head around it. And it honestly wasn't as bad as I was expecting, so it was okay. <laughs> as you headed into that last 100 meters, what, were you thinking, okay, 100 meters to go yet? Yeah, I mean, I was definitely tired, but like, just motivates me to like finish so I can finally stop. So I was just thinking that I wanted to get it done as fast as I can and have a good time. All right. Now, how about the triple jump? You did that indoors without any practice. Are you working on a little more outdoors to see if you can get more distance on it? Um, I had like two practices about it, and I feel like today wasn't as good, but indoor was kind of like a surprising PR, so I just kind of had high expectations, I guess. But I think that I went well, and I could like, I know what I need to improve on for it, and so I think it'll get better. All right. Emma, just .01 away from a PR for you, 104.7. How did that race feel for you out there today? Um, it felt really good. I felt really smooth during it, and um, yeah, basically that's it. I felt smooth, and I felt like I was good over every hurdle. Normally, I have a problem with kind of stuttering over the last couple, but I felt like I didn't do that as much over these ones. Okay. Now, to be a sub-5 this early in the season, how important is that going forward? Uh, very important. I think that a lot of the girls in our conference have run around 63 or 62, so that's definitely like... I can. I know that I'm on my way to that because I improved over the Sacramento race, and I felt really good doing it. What's in between now and six weeks from now? We're at. What's an ultimate time for you by the middle of May? Um, hopefully around 62. That'd be the ultimate goal. But I'd definitely be happy uh, breaking 64 at least. Okay. Now you're also a pole vaulter. How do you split your time between hurdles and pole vault? Are they equal in your mind, or does one get a little bit more? Um, they're pretty equal in my mind. I try and give as much of myself to both of them as possible, but obviously it's hard to kind of not feel like I'm giving my all to everything. Okay. And Brooke, how about you? You're also a multi event What are you going to be focusing on the next four, five, six weeks coming up? Um, I think I'm going to focus a lot on triple jump just because it's my favorite one and I actually, like, I really enjoy it. And then I'll probably start working on stuff for the hip again soon, like my improvement could be in the javelin and, like, the shots and things like that. Okay. Like, like all multi eventers Yeah. Th throws are usually the toughest? Yeah, that's a struggle for me. <laughs> all right.